Hello out there. First, I'd like to welcome my one new subscriber whose name never showed up. I uh, welcome and thank you. And today, I'm going to do a review of uh, Missouri Mersham's Missouri Pride tobacco. Now, I was thinking real hard on which one I'd do next. So I thought, why not do one of them from our favorite maker, Corn Cob Pipes? I have smoked um, their Patriot blend. It was all right. So this time I thought I'd try one of the two that's, one of the three that's named after their pipes. And two of them are my favorites. So it was either this one or um, Country Gentleman. So I picked the Pride. And I will be doing it out of my little Missouri Mersham, Missouri Pride. It was one of my now three favorites. Three favorite corn cobs. Now in this blend, it's um, just Virginia and Burley and uh, topping. Uh, take a quick whip, see if it's still strong. Yeah, it's kind of still there. Not as prominent as it was. There is a little something like a cocoa topping or It smells something like um, between raw cocoa and that instant cocoa you get. Something like Swiss Miss instant cocoa. And I've been smoking on it here and there this past week. And I wasn't too sure about this one. Yeah, it's not overly moist. So it's not goopy or anything like that. Yeah, a little breezy out here. Not too bad. Well, most of the time. I was hoping it caught good. I'm not out of wood, it's lighter.
Now you will not get much of that cocoa taste when you're smoking it. Seems to be your item out. I do pick up Virginia some. Probably um maybe a little bit from the topping in the Virginia. There is a little bit of sweetness. Just a little bit. Mainly I taste the burleys. I remember when I was first opened up this pouch. I was kind of having my doubts. And after I got to smoking, I was really enjoying it. Now you do get some of that nutty, toasty goodness from the, from the burley. I mean, you can get a pretty good amount of it. And a deeper flavor in there. It reminds you of um, Prince Albert. Matter of fact, sometimes this one and um, Prince Albert are close enough to be kissing cousins. I'm not sure if that was their intention, though, to try to match it. But if you like Prince Albert, chances are you're going to get along with Missouri Pride. <clears throat> and of the two, yes, I do like Prince Albert. I like Missouri Pride even better. Let's say this one's a... A blend that Codger blends. Should have been made like a long time ago. This is a Codger blend of dreams. By the way, that's... Prince Albert was only one of the small handful of what we call the old Codger blends that I really liked. I like Prince Albert, Sir Walter Rowley, along with the Sir Walter Rowley aromatic. I was okay with that one. Middleton Cherry, and um, I can get along with Carter Hall. Some of the other ones I just didn't care for, and one I absolutely hated. Now this blend is, should have been made decades and decades ago. This one is old Americana. Oh, you, it's great. I will buy this one again. This is a blend that you'd be smoking like late at night sometimes, drinking God knows how much, how many pots of coffee, shooting a bull, playing solitary gin rummy, enjoying after Sunday dinner or just strutting your badass 
up and down the street. And so far I'd say this is Missouri Mersham's masterpiece when it comes to blends. I'll have to try some of the others. I'll probably try oh, Country Gentleman next sometime in the future. That's all I got for now. Thank you for dropping in.